Hello people, my name is Rage and welcome and all to Hearthstone Tavern Brawl and please, please oh mystical button that makes Wednesdays oh so fun, the highlight of my Wednesdays because my life is incredibly boring but that's a matter for the therapist, please give us a good one because we need it, come on! Looking good. It's new. It looks exciting. Storming Stormwind. We started with wordplay. That's good. Late stage to Stormwind. The city starts with one health and goes up as you hit it. How much damage can you do? Huh. Okay, then. Alrighty, then. As I have no idea how this is going to work, and I have no idea if this is a brawl where everyone just faces an AI, which it is! Okay, because I was 50-50. Is it going to be an AI, like a boss from a uh, adventure, or is it going to be a player controlling Stormwind? But if it is a boss... Uh, then my deck might actually turn out to be pretty good, because I've gone for a very gimmicky, health-buffing, in a fiery smackdown deck that uh, hopefully should do pretty well, but I will say that immediately, this is beautiful. I am so happy, because we have had weeks of just utter tripe, and I don't use the word tripe lightly, but we... Uh, have had it, and this looks to be making it come back in a big way. So the question is, though, how does one technically win? That's what I'm thinking, but I guess we will find out. This is exciting, though. I've always wanted to destroy Stormwind and make all of its people homeless and desperate and crying in the streets. It's been a dream of mine for ever since I was little to know an entire people and their way of life has been crushed by my nefarious regime. And this, today in Hearthstone, I get a small taste of what that might be like, so I am excited. So I think we'll do it to this light well then, get that health up pumping, and then we can divine spirit it next time. So, boom! Alright, healed it to three. So obviously we want this number to be as high as possible when... Uh, ooh, okay, swordsman. Someone is granting this card attack and health. Okay, battle cry. Ah, I see, that kind of works. So there's loads of unique Stormwind cards as well that are defending it. That's kind of cool. I like how the character that I'm playing as, by the way, Anduin, is actually the king of Stormwind. So he's just like, I've had it with my ungrateful piece of shit people. I am going to storm them and shadow magic their asses, which I think is a noble cause, if I'm honest with you. Okay, so we need to get past this. Which is kind of irritating to do, because I don't really have a way to do it other than just do this. Because I wanted to injure one of my cards to start healing and start pumping their attack, but I guess we can do that. There's got to be like a turn limit, right? And then you've just got to get to as much damage in that time as possible. That does kind of make sense. Okay, he's got secrets. He's got bloody secrets. I see how this is. Uh, and then I guess I will play this, because that will heal that fully, which is obviously nice. It'll buff it up. It can then trade with that. Please don't be vaporized. Oh, that's actually kind of fine. Okay, so we'll leave that. Do a little bit more damage. Go, guys, I've managed to get to a whole five. So basically, the armory is not a weapon that he's going to use. It just buffs the creatures that he's playing. So this shieldman gaining a massive amount of health is quite quite real, if I'm honest with you. Okay, so I guess we don't have much choice but to do this and then smash through it. I mean, I guess I'm not in danger of dying, so I probably can go a little bit more offensive on this deck, but who really knows at this point? Let's double this to 18 for our inevitable draw of Inner Fire, and then we should start to see some proper numbers, although god damn is this swordsman a issue. Jesus, a 7-7 seven, seven for two manner. I mean, that is value in anyone's book. Oh, there's even some custom cards from hand. The battle standard. 
Oh, man, ironically, you know, that's a really terrible card for standard. Okay, so they've buffed up. So I'm glad I put Thought Steel in then, because I was like, I imagine there might be some cool cards to, well, you know, steal. So this is exciting. Let's use it, see what we end up with. And, oh, that sucks. Actually, yeah doesn't really suck. I mean, what sucked about it is that I very much wanted to get a new card, but this is fine too, so we'll do that there. We will do that there, just so the light well can't do anything to us. It's like a terrible flame tongue totem. And by uh, terrible, no, it is terrible. That one health makes all the difference with a flame tongue totem. It really does, because obviously one mana creatures generally can't kill it. Eight, eight, you have got to be kidding me. Okay, so I guess what happens is then, because he just keeps getting more powerful and more powerful and you can't really stop it, though I do wonder if you can, like, ooze his armory away and melt all of Stormwind's uh, precious uh, equipment, but if you can do that, then the question is, is it just how much damage can you do before you inevitably die to Stormwind? That's the question. Let's get Tyrion. Oh, Anomalous isn't actually horrible here. In fact, no, it's really, really quite good. So, we'll get a load of damage in there, which is nice. Do we just have to get to 30? I mean, on turn 10, I can Velen and then do two lots of 12 damage, which is pretty impressive, if you ask me. Ooh, Anomalous is going to have quite the power here. I'm actually really lucky I got that. I just realized, my word, that is insane. Okay, so yeah, let's attack this, which should nuke the crap out of the board. I love this animation. Power overwhelming. Oh, good times. I'll just each one individually being blinked out of existence with arcane power. That's what I like to see. And then we'll slap that one, draw ourselves an extra card. Then we'll light of the Naru. Then we'll light of the Naru. And then we'll heal ourselves. And now we have quite the cool little board building. It shouldn't matter too much what he play. Hey, hey. Hey, he's here! Holy hell! That is quite powerful. Oh, when he got a mind vision, hopefully he just gets the coin. That's uh, probably for the best here. I mean, I am going to heal up, so I'm not completely worried about dying. I thought Muckler's champion might be good, all right? Don't, don't, don't question me. <laughs> all right, well, we need to do this while we have the ability to do it. I mean, look at that. That was a sterling amount of damage. I think this is okay for my first attempt, not knowing anything about the fight. Jesus, that is so much health. Uh, hopefully he attacks me in the face. He did attack me in the face! Awesome. So then the question is, we will mucklers, and damn, it was a mirror entity, but you know, we can't really not play it at this point, so we will double you up, so you don't die when you trade with that. Then we'll heal ourselves for mad, mad health, and then we can just about perfectly handle this. Not a, by a crazy amount, but we can perfectly handle this. And so now we can survive, and we still should be okay. We're gonna live from this 10 attack. We've got Muckler rolling, we've got mad heals, we've got a Velen on the way, and we- No! No! I mean, we're still technically all right, that's the thing. Okay, power word shield. Well, first and foremost... In fact, no, we won't heal ourselves to start with. We will buff Velen up a little bit. Faceless manipulator, don't mind if I do. Glad I drew you. And then we will heal for freaking eight each time and then keep those bananas rolling. We might just be okay. This is excellent. If we could just keep this going and going and going, keep trading with our massive amounts of health. No! Why am I immune? Oh, I see. He dies when he beats me. Oh, that was gonna be so good! 
future age here then with just a quick uh, message. Obviously, after finishing this video and having my first blind brawl experience, I uh, then was informed that you can, in fact, destroy Stormwind's weapon, which does reset the ramping, uh, which obviously makes things quite easy. Now, I feel like somewhat understandably, I assumed, at least in my first blind, you know, attempt this video, that if you could destroy it, that would be stupid because it breaks the whole thing and lets you get to hundreds of damage, so clearly it's just going to do like a Kel'Thuzad and be like, nah, bitch, no who's this for you, and make it a waste of a card slot. So I just want to address that before every single comment is, why did you not try destroying weapons? <laughs> why? <laughs> uh, also, you can apparently spell E to his hero power. Which is kind of cool, but we'll try that in round two. Really much looking forward to having a crack at this with my full collection. Either way, enjoy the rest of this, um, experience. But yeah, I am a... God damn. All right, as long as we threaten Stormwind. Can we actually threaten Stormwind? Greetings. Hello, Stormwind. Is it me you're looking for? Nope. All right, that's fine. Come on, give me something to play. Holy hell. Oh my god. You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna go again. I feel like when we're fighting the AI here, let's just make sure that we get a- Oh, look at that! One damage! Get on my level! Ball the hand possible when we start the game, because uh, otherwise we're just shooting ourselves in the foot to begin the race, and well, that's a kind of neat tactic. Because think about it, you've shot yourself in the foot on the starting line, that's all well and good. So, A, you've got the initial, like, whoa! from all of your fellow racers, like, dude, you shot yourself in the foot, so they're shaken now, they're worried, they're like, what the fuck's going on? But then, while running, if you could ignore the pain like a manly man, you're gonna be, like, dribbling a blood trail onto the pitch, which should hopefully mean that you end up making the other contestant slip and slide and fall over, thereby winning you the race even harder. You see what I mean? I mean, it's a very, very solid plan. Honestly, I'm going to use this just because we kind of need it, and of course that's what happened, but I don't really have a choice. I just need to start cycling because there we go. All right, that's... Uh at least, uh, something. There's the barracks. Oh, he keeps getting swordsmen. God damn it. That's really, really irritating. Okay, Divine Spirit. Not gonna help too much. And I guess we just do that. Fortunately, we could play Holy Champion, which should survive uh, and should start getting the healing. God damn it. Stop getting swordsmen. This is difficult. So uh, they've got a light well, which does kind of suck, but we can roll with that, especially as we're just getting instantly healed. And yay, Valence Chosen. Though I think what I will do is save that for next turn and hopefully get it on the Holy Champion, who I should be able to just keep consistently healing. Unless, of course, Stormwind happens to attack both with uh, this. So that's Mirror Entity, as we learned last time. Okay, he is just going face. That is excellent. Yes, it is. And this way, we can use Light of the Naru. Light of the Naru. Is that going to trigger... No, it's not going to trigger that. That's actually really good, then. And then we will Shadow Word Death, the 5-5, five five, kill that. And then next turn, we can still Valence Chosen, because he has proven that he's just very keen on fucking hell on going... Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no, he buffed that one. Okay, well... Shadow Word Death, um, if you could sort that out, that would be really cool, Shadow Word. No, nope. all right, that's fine. It's okay, we're gonna, we're gonna get it in a second. That's cool, don't worry about it. Mirror Entity, you know, every draw, every day, this is fine. Oh my god, give me it. No, that's another light well. I don't need another light well, damn it. It's the last thing I bloody need. I guess I should just trade this for the 1010, right? That kind of sucks. I am a little bit salty about this, I, I will fully accept that, but, oh god, and we'll do this too, just because I can keep drawing next turn, I mean, it's not the end of the world, we just need to get into a position where we lock up the board with a load of power, but again, we did get a terrible opening hand, so I'm kind of tempted to just do the uh, restart once again, I feel like that might make more sense. Uh, for the battle standard, that's not really that much of a big deal. Okay, we got Shadow Word Pain, which at least can kill the Light Well, which is kind of nice. But yeah, you know what? Let's just go for it one more time. Yeah, I guess we will. We'll do that. Then we... Oh, 
Oh, duplicate. That's actually okay. I really thought that was going to be something a lot, lot worse than that. So the question is... Uh, do I still want to do this? I think what I'll do is I'll light of the narrow it, and then we will blessing of kings it, and we'll kind of throw all of our eggs in this holy basket. That's that's going to be the way to go. Yeah, this is fine. So we can shadow our death that away. I mean, we probably are going to end up with a, a mirror. Really? He's trading? Okay, I mean, I guess that's fine. It's not amazing, but it is fine and we can do this which is absolutely lovely that perfectly gets rid of that and oh it was another duplicate because the thing is duplicating them don't matter because they're terrible without the hero power buff which they're not gonna get oh wait no it is a battle cry it is a battle cry so they've thought about making it go back to the hand that kind of sucks uh, and i guess i'll go for forbidden shaping at this point in fact, no, our Shadow Word pain this, just so he has nothing left, uh, and then we'll actually get a little bit of damage in. I feel like that might be okay. So we managed to burn his card, he got a 7-7. Seven, seven. There's a Shieldsman. Oh, God. Oh, and another Shieldsman. That sucks so much. Though we do have both Shadow Word death, so it's not actually horrible. And we do have Velen here. Oh, God, we need Velen and Muckler to stick. That's the combo that is going to make this incredible. It really is. And I think we'll use Forbidden Shaping and just get a nice random floor drop. Actually, that's really good. Because taunts are the one thing that I don't really have going for me in uh, this deck. Ah, I mean, we still have one death, so that's fine. I'm playing on that. Yes, good. So now I can get the Muckler going. A little bit safer, which is really good. Because he still can't kill it. He still have to wait a turn to make that happen. So, yeah, let's do that. And then actually heal the champion itself. Because at this point, I am a little bit concerned it's just going to die. So, yeah, next turn, this is going to kill my infested Tauren. That should survive. And then we should be okay, right? Like, in theory... In total theory, this should be acceptable. Obviously, we still need to death that. Oh, he does actually have Stormwind Knights. I guess that, you know, admittedly kind of makes sense, but that's fine. And I guess board clear is something we should look into. But damn it, I will make this work. I will make this work. Okay, so we'll Shadow Word death this to begin with. That is fine. The real question then is obviously... Getting rid of this. I mean, Alchemist, Dark Alchemist, is going to be amazing for killing the uh, Shieldsman in a more refined version of this deck to make the brawl happen a lot better. So, I guess that is true. And then I'm probably going to heal Muckler, just so he can only die to the Mind Control tech and uh, not the uh, Stormwind Knight. I am tempted to Velen's Chosen Muckler. That actually seems like a really sensible thing to do, right? Because then he is... Uh, going to live, and then what I can do is, yes, it's technically a waste of an inner fire, but it does get me past both taunts this turn, and then I can kill the two ones, so I actually think that overall, that was a pretty good turn for me, so now we've got problems when it starts becoming the 10 tens. oh no, oh come on, even when a resurrect happens, it's a buff, Jesus! Okay, this is fine. We can deal. We can totally deal with it. 100%. Oh, God. I mean, we can Velen and then heal this. Trade there. That should be fine. He's still going to struggle to do it. And then we can uh, Power Word shield this and he'd have to trade everything. So, yeah, that seems like the sensible thing to do here. I mean, it's not great, is it? But we don't really have another choice because I could give it this five health but that doesn't help me in other ways and then this way I do get a villain's chosen rolling which is obviously fantastically important here so his damage gonna go up uh, the bananas are gonna start flying and god I love it when the bananas fly so we can destroy 
this like so. And then we can heal that up just just a smidge, just a smidge, and then we can get past this. I think ultimately this works. He can only kill the Holy Champion, which obviously he will do, but we do have another Divine Spirit and Inner Fire to work with, which is kind of nice. And there's the other Swordsman. That's, that's less than kind of nice. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, stop it! Stop playing battle standards, all right? This is not what we need right here. <laughs> this is just not what we need. Okay, so, uh, the thing to do here then, uh, holy champion, we will double Velen's health, because why not? Uh, then he's got to uh, in a fire, so he can actually kill these finally. Then we will heal Muckler, which is pretty good. And then we'll use Muckler to hopefully kill one of these, which at least gets rid of one. And I just don't want to take 13 bloody damage on Velen. I'm just worried that if I don't kill one of them, I'm going to lose it. But then he'd have to trade both to kill Velen. Ah, I'm going to take the risk that the AI is a moron. All right, I'm, I'm going to take the risk here. Oh, God, he got the 12-12. That sucks. Y y that's okay. That's all right. That is actually genuinely fine. I mean, it's not great. Don't get me wrong, but... Oh, come on. Stop. You don't need more swordsmen, you bastard. <laughs> you absolute bastard. All right, we'll do that. We'll heal him back up a little bit. Then we will do that. Heal him back up once more. Then we will double his health. And I do need to kill one of these enemies. Because otherwise, obviously, I'm going to die. So I guess we'll get 17 in there. And then trade for that one. I mean, I don't really have another choice. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, wait, no, I'm still dead. That's perfectly 27. Maths! Oh, no. I am a moron. Okay, I'm going to give this one final go. I've had a little bit of a shift uh, with the deck. We have an auctioneer now for some spell cycling draw power. We've got some crazed alchemists instead of pains because then we can just remove the taunts and the battle flags. We've got an extra muckler for more consistency. So... In theory, this should be quite an effective way of making this happen. Because uh, the one issue that we were experiencing was constantly running out of cards and then just this constant onslaught of death from uh, the enemy Stormwind. And yeah, though I have to admit, it is very impressive that an entire city is sentient enough to uh, play a card game. That is really cool. And look, they've even got their own Orc mercenaries, which is hella impressive. Oh, I am liking that. Both Velen's Chosens on a light well. That is very good. Should I cycle Power Word Shield or save it for the Auctioneer? I feel like I should use it here just because we'll get this going. And then turn 7, obviously Auctioneer, Light of the Naru. Hopefully he doesn't kill it. But I do need to really stem the tide of the death heading my way. So that's getting stealth. That's not a big deal. We'll kill that. That's going to heal me. And another powered shield. Kind of have to go for that. Just keep it going. Ooh, Herald Volage might come in very, very handy here. And then, because we don't really have much else to do, I'll leave that. Because I wonder if he is going to waste time killing my auctioneers. Hopefully, hopefully he starts to get some freaking... Uh, goddamn uh, taunts like a little bit of RNG going on here I'll fully admit that but that's fine and let's go for it please don't be a mirror image one time yay all right we'll destroy that that'll duplicate it up yep whatever I just have to deal with that because uh, the thing is I can't fit enough AoE into this deck to deal with the swamp of minions which is obviously the big issue Oh, he's actually fireballing. No, my auctioneer. Why does Stormwind cast fireballs? Where the fuck are they from? All right, we got Mind Blast. That's fine, but it doesn't really help us right now. So I could auctioneer and then inner fire this, which will draw me a card, which is good. And then we can trade with the 6-6. Six, six. We'll still have a very nice, healthy minion. And it depends if he values the auctioneer enough to trade the swordsman in. I'm hoping not. 
Yes, good. He's actually just going to uh, trade with it. This is great. No, please let it survive. If there's any justice. No, the la Oh, come on. Come on. That is just bollocks. That is absolutely bollocks. I just don't even want it. This is fine. At least, at the very least, we are about to draw a lot of cards, which might be very much enough to reach critical mass. Though I kind of want to volage and then just draw four cards at once per spell. That's definitely amusing to me. No! Why would he summon it? Oh, I guess he has to. It's an automatic hero power. Well, I mean, the good news, the good news is that we still did get a lot of value out of it, at least enough value, you know, they didn't completely go to waste is what I'm getting at. Oh, good. Good, enter the Coliseum, that's great, that's, uh, that's one I didn't quite expect there, that's fine, absolutely fine. We're fucked. We are absolutely, utterly, and completely fucked. <laughs> just no other way to say it and that's so disappointing because that really did have so much potential we just got so unlucky with uh, him spawning uh, the actual swordsman instead of the uh, shieldsman but what can you do what can you do i am really excited to give this a brawl round two and get go at it with my full collection of cards and really start to wreck face because let's be honest Murloc is likely to be strong here, isn't it? Like, that's probably going to work out pretty well for us. Yes, we'll double that, fire off the Mind Blast, make that get a little bit stronger. But it's all over now. It's just so all over. Yes, it is. And there ain't nothing and no thing that anybody or anything can do about it. No, indeed. <laughs> No, indeed. I mean, curiosity's sake, does want to see what happens when I do play a weapon destroyer, but I do not believe for a second it's possible, because why would they let you just ruin the entire brawl? Oh, good, now I get an alchemist. Yeah, fantastic. Really good there. Awesome. Just, just great. Oh, and then he gets to duplicate anyway. Oh, fantastic. All right, then, guys. I mean, the first game was absolutely baller. I will say that. The subsequent one struggled a little bit. But, yeah, that's the fun of the brawl. Kill me then, City of Stormwind. <laughs> Kill me now. There it is. All righty, guys. Let's open the pack. I'm loving this brawl, though. This is definitely one of the most unique and fun ones that we've had in, quite frankly, for freaking ever. So, yeah. Come on. Oh, oh, we got in a fire. That's about a sign, isn't it? All right, guys. Like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. Oh, good boy. Be